What's up guys, welcome to the DMX Show, I'm your host Shane, and I know I haven't really shown the Bionic much love lately, neither has Motorola, but the developers, they have been showing tons of love to the Droid Bionic, and so far there are lots of ROMs that you can find, I go into the link in the description, you go to droidmotorx.com slash bionic, or you can go to romdroidhacks.com, you'll find tons of development on the Bionic, uh, Sparky Man is one of the main developers right now for the Droid Bionic. Uh, him and Team Haters, they've really been putting out a lot of development as well as D-Hacker and Hashcode. They've also been putting out a lot of development on this as far as like the Kexec ROMs are concerned. Uh, this ROM that I'm showing you guys today, this is Axiom CS uh, Rebirth 2.0 and this is not a Kexec ROM. But I do still suggest that you install it over SafeStrap 2.11. Um, basically what this is, is it is... Sparky Man's version of AOKP and it has all of his custom theming and all of his custom tweaks, custom hacks. He's also included overclocking so you can actually overclock this ROM up to 1.36 gigahertz. So as you guys can see, I mean it really does fly. It goes fast with that overclocked CPU. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll jump into the Team Hater settings and basically you have your ROM control very similar to AOKP anything that is in AOKP control is going to be in this ROM as well um, so if you guys have never run through that general UI like there's a, a ton of different settings here 180 degree rotation so you can turn your phone upside down I mean we'll quickly run through these but most of you guys have probably already seen it navigation bar if you wanted to add the nav navigation bar that's like normally an ice cream sandwich or jelly bean you could do that it would just have uh, your navigation buttons up here we have the capacitive buttons so you really don't need those um, and then there's lock screen options here as well so you change the lock screen style there's several to choose from there's power menu options so let's see that's your power menu. You can actually add toggles to the power menu. And you have some power saver options, LED options. Toggles would be your drop down toggles. You can change the layout here so that you have a cleaner layout. You can actually enable toggles. Oh, some of you guys are probably going to ask why I don't have signal. It's because I don't have a SIM card installed on my Bionic. It's in my Galaxy S3 right now. Um, and plus, the Bionic takes a bigger SIM card, so I'm not e easily able to insert that to test this out but uh, Sparky Man and several others have said that all of the critical phone functions like Bluetooth, uh, voice, data, messaging are all working on this ROM. I know for a fact that camera is working because I've tested it. We'll go into the camera and I'll take a quick couple of pictures for you. Oh, we're recording video now so the video camera is working. If we go to the front facing camera we'll do some video recording of my pretty self and let's see we'll do some pictures so the camera is working and it's actually working pretty quick for a droid bionic so camera is fully functioning flash should be working perfectly in this uh, like your netflix any of those hardware acceleration things should be working because this is based on the ice cream sandwich leak so any kind of phone functionality should be working perfectly in this um, as far as sparky man he did extensive testing he didn't find any bugs in this rom so this should be a daily driver worthy you shouldn't find any issues with this rom uh, we'll continue with the aokp settings i think we had just about covered everything if we go into ROM control, there were, uh, you can change your clock settings here. Go with the center clock. Change the color. Uh, performance. It's closing out because he has it overclocked from start. He has two versions of this uh, that are overclocked. You have 1.26 and 1.36. So you install it, and then you really cannot get into the performance controls and underclock it uh, because it is just set at, o at the proper overclocking settings. Uh, and it really can't be changed so and that's one thing about this ROM um, but really it runs perfectly like it is he also has a jelly bean build that he is claiming is just the Wi-Fi build because it has no data yet but he's also working at getting data working on that as well but for now we're on ice cream sandwich it does have the theme control so you can find themes that are good for CM10, CM9, AOKP and they will work on the theme chooser if we go into about phone 
you see that we are running ice cream sandwich and we're on the AOKP milestone six which is the latest ice cream sandwich build of AOKP but anyways guys this has been the Axiom CS ROM uh, I guess one other thing I could show you is the wallpapers that it comes with of course you have AOKP wallpapers and then you have Sparky Man's wallpapers and he has several here to choose from this is the one that I like very reminiscent of the Droid X then you can go with no wallpaper at all but like I said, that has been my ROM review of Axiom CS for the Droid Bionic. If you guys want to see more coverage on the Droid Bionic, like I said, developers are going nuts on this device here lately. Uh, and if you would like to see more coverage on that, just be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave some comments below and uh, subscribe to this channel by clicking right there. Uh, be sure to follow me at DroidModerX on Twitter. You can find more of me at DroidModerX.com where I have the latest in Android and tech news. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.